this is for the love of insects. Today I'm going to be making a video on how to keep a leopard gecko. Alright, so first what you're going to want is some sort of enclosure. In this case, I have a 10 gallon, 10 gallon, um, it's actually an aquarium, but you can also use them as a terrarium, it doesn't really matter. Um, so you want, um, you can have a closed top, uh, it doesn't really matter if you have a high, like a 10 gallon high or something like that, but you're going to want between a 10 and 20 gallon. You don't want to go any smaller than a 10 for an adult leopard gecko, but, um, I mean for a baby, a juvenile leopard gecko, uh, they could probably start off with a 5, but, um, alright, so that's what I'm going to go over first. Um, next year we're going to want a substrate. What I'm using here is simple paper towel. Um, I never suggest you use sand. Sand it can kill your leopard gecko due to impaction, which is when your leopard gecko ingests sand and it can kill them. Um, so what you're gonna wanna use, like something like this, you can buy a reptile carpet. That's just kind of over time. Uh, that gets expensive when you use it. So um, all I use is paper towel, it's really easy. Um, the one bad side about this is some people have problems with their leopard gecko's claws getting caught in this. And that is one problem with this. But I haven't had problems with that, so this is what I use. Next, you're going to want a heat mat. As you can see here, I'm using this small one. It goes partially under my tank and it goes under an open hide. So, yeah, these um, you're going to want one of these. They really they keep your leopard gecko warm. A lot of people say by the overhead lamps, they don't do anything because leopard geckos absorb heat through their bellies. So you are going to want a heat mat or something like that. Heat rocks, you can use those, but I don't suggest that because they have been known to burn animals. Um, for hides, you will need a hide with two, two open ends. That's going to be the light hide. And then you want one with one open end, and that's going to be your dark hide. This one's a little damaged, I made it myself, but you can, it still works fine. Um, also, sometimes in the dark hide, when it um, when your leopard gecko is shedding, it's good to put some sort of like a uh, damp paper towel to help with the increase the humidity, which will help your leopard gecko shed. Also, it is good sometimes to get a shedding, uh, basically like a shedding hide, which helps your leopard gecko shed where it can rub against it. I have some different things in here, like jagged rocks. Well, not really that jagged, but where it can rub against them and get the dead skin off. You're also going to want some, like, rocks or basically decorations. Um, also, your leopard gecko is going to love to climb on them uh, if your leopard gecko is really active like mine. Um, so this is basically just petrified wood. Um, and I just leave them in there. They make good decorations, but also the leopard gecko loves them. So um, also here I have some uh, cactus, which, I don't know, that makes a good decoration. Yeah, so I like to climb on those. One thing you're going to need is a water dish. Um, it doesn't really matter what size you get, as long as it's not like too big where when your leopard gecko's a baby where he can fall into it and drown. Um, but you just don't want it to be too big. Like here you can see mine isn't that big. Um, but you don't want it to be too small either. You will typically want to feed your leopard gecko crickets. Um, you can also feed them mealworms, but mealworms do not have as much protein in them as a cricket does. Uh, you'll want to feed your uh, leopard gecko, I mean really I guess it can vary how much you're going to want to feed them per day. Um, I usually feed my one to two a day and if he eats more than that he kind of gets overweight which is not good for him. Um, I know some people though their leopard geckos will eat three to four crickets a day. So it can really vary depending on how much your leopard gecko eats. Uh, leopard geckos if you feed them a lot they can go for like a week without eating, it's kind of crazy, um, and be completely fine. I don't suggest doing that unless you absolutely have to, though. Um, you're also going to want to coat your crickets with, uh, like, calcium and multivitamins. Um, really, you just put these in bags, and basically you put your crickets in there, you shake up the bag, and pull your crickets out, so they'll be completely dusted in this, and then you'll feed them to your leopard gecko. Um, I usually feed him like dust of crickets you want to do it like maybe once a week or so uh the calcium is really important otherwise they can get bone diseases which can in the long run kill your leopard gecko it's good to keep track of your leopard gecko's weights by weighing them like monthly you can tell if they're having any problems like digesting or if they have maybe a disease or something 
So here I'm gonna weigh him real quick. He always weigh him in grams. So he weighs about 47 grams. Um, he's gained weight quite a bit over the last year, of course, because when I got him, he weighed about five grams. All right, so now we're gonna talk about shedding. Your leopard gecko is going to shed every little while. That's completely natural, especially if your leopard gecko is new um, and it's a baby, it's going to shed more. Leopard gecko sheds, first you need to make sure that there's no shed stuck to its feet. That can cause um, that when the next time it sheds, it can basically lose its toes, um, where it constricts the blood from flowing. You're also going to want to make sure you have hides and rocks, all that stuff in there where it can rub against when it's shedding, so it can get all that off. You're going to want to handle your leopard gecko quite a bit. You want it to get used to you, and you want it to get used to others. Um, one thing you do not want to do is you do not want to handle it often if you just got it. It's going to be really stressed out, so you do not want to handle it for the first couple of days. Some daily chores you're going to be needing to do with the leopard gecko is to feed it. Um, you need to check its water. Um, you, it's good to handle it daily. It, that way it can actually get used to you. Also, you can see if there's like anything wrong with it just to make sure that it is. Uh, completely healthy and fine. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.